this, this, this is all I wanted to say, okay, you guys? Um, before accepting a job um, from a temp agency to work somewhere else permanently, they're going to charge them a fee, a hefty fee, that if you leave, okay, the office is going to use that against you. If you leave before they want you to or before they fire you, I don't even know how long they want me to work there. That's the thing. No one told me anything. No one told me. No one sat me down to tell me um, we're going to pay this much money. I'm going to start making those type of videos on my channel because I feel like it's very important to share what I've learned so far in the real world with you all, especially new grads. I feel like um, sharing those experiences will help you guys because I wish somebody had told me um, like the experiences that I've, like, I would have encountered the experiences that I, that I have encountered thus far, okay? I wish somebody had given me a warning sign. Therefore, I'll be well equipped to deal with the situation a lot better, smarter, and I would have known what to do. But this is a series that I want to start on my channel called What I Didn't Learn in Dental Hygiene School, okay? So right now, like this situation, is, like it's current, um, it just occurred and it's weighing heavily on my heart. So excuse me if I react angrily, I can't control it right now. It, it's hurting me, like, it, like it's, it's very disrespectful to say to someone that they paid this much money for you. Um, I don't think I'm anybody's property, you know what I mean? I'm going to share the Facebook post with you in, in, in a moment. Um, I posted it because I needed help and I didn't know how to deal with it. So basically, I went on um, Dental Hygiene Life with Andy RDH and they were able to help me cope with the situation and advise me well enough to know what my next steps should be. So, um, I advise you guys to do the same, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, but they have been the number one um, people I run to whenever I feel like I'm dealing with a situation that I'm not familiar with. Like, I'm new to the field, and there's a lot I, I'm learning, there's a lot I've learned, and there's a lot I need to learn and know about it. Um, so yeah, um, this is the post I'm talking about. I posted that on... Dental Hygiene Life and, and the RDH. Of course, everyone told me I'm crazy and I should not give um, them, you know, my time for free just to reimburse them because in my heart, I just felt like they were um, holding that $3,500 over me just to try to own me and control me. And I am not someone that you can control at all. Like, I will, nope, it's, that, it's not in me, okay? Um, although I don't know how my ancestors did it for so many years, but I don't feel like it's in me. The lady literally said to me, um, we paid $3,500 for you. Okay? When she said that to me, I was so angry. But I, like always, whenever I'm angry, I try to like have a poker face on. Stay calm and then walked away because, you know, I'm going to remain professional no matter what. Um, so when she said that, I, I was shocked. Like, you see the sharpness on my face. I was just like, really? I had no idea. I had no idea it was that much. If anything, if they were to pay a fee, because when we refer each other to, you know, to a temp agency, they usually give us, like, $20. I'm like, okay, sure. But when we refer, like, an office, they give the they give the office and you a um, hundred dollars. <sighs> I had no idea that they paid her, you know, that much money, and for her to try to use that against me to try to get me to stay. Um, I'm, my plan was to tell her I'm just gonna work, you know, however much you want me to work, and then you can keep the money because I'm I don't plan on I don't want to stay there anymore because your attitude has shifted towards me. You're acting na nasty and I don't want to be in this environment anymore. It's not a welcoming environment. It was just, it's very offensive for you to tell someone you paid $3,500 for them. 
a way for you to try to manipulate them you know what I mean try to get them to stay that's that doesn't make me want to stay when she said that she basically made me feel like you know I was her property and that was very insulting to me you know what I mean like I'm nobody's property you know what I mean I'm I own myself last time I checked actually God owns me you know it's just it's very degrading for someone to just tell you that they paid three like I know she met to say the finder's fee is $2,500 but she literally told me I paid $2,500 for, $2, for you you know what I mean like I'm telling you I wasn't telling her I was going to leave I was telling her that Saturday and Mondays are not working out for me because I'm losing out and I need to I need to be able to like you know I have to pay my bills basically like I have to do that I want to get another part-time job like I was willing to just give her the rest of my time so that I could compensate her for the three thousand five hundred dollars because after she said that I was like okay that's fine but then when I came back from lunch she's I I was talking to her before lunch and she said that and I felt insulted and I just like walked away I went to lunch and I came back and then her I was like you know saying hi um, and her attitude just changed like it was no longer the same person and I was like okay she's mad that's fine and then when I brought one of the patients to her she started like talking to me in a disrespectful manner um, I was telling her how I don't think the patient wants to be scheduled every six months I think they want to come every year and she was like well they didn't make a schedule obviously and I was just like okay I'm not gonna be able to put up put up with that for a long time like this is the this is your third strike and the first strike was you telling me that you paid two thousand five hundred dollars for me the second strike was after lunch I was trying to talk to you you were just giving me the couple should do that right there you was telling me well they didn't make an appointment you, that means you're trying to tell me I did something wrong that's your third strike I don't want to be there all day long and being treated like you know like you own me like you know what I mean like you can just talk to me however you want that's not okay with me okay first of all I'm not gonna take that from you or anybody else okay that's just the way it is I'm not about that I'm not that kind of person you're not gonna sit there and disrespect me all day long and you think I'm just gonna sit there First of all, I don't know how my ancestor did that. Like, there, I, I don't know. I couldn't just be, be there and just be owned by someone. <sighs> yeah, I really don't know how my ancestors were slaves. They were working for free. I don't even want to be there for money. I felt forced to be somewhere where I was not being treated, you know, with respect. So, yeah, I don't know how they... all I wanted to say okay you guys um before accepting a job um from a temp agency to work somewhere else permanently they're gonna charge them a fee a hefty fee that if you leave okay the office is gonna use that against you if you leave before they want you to or before they fire you I don't even know how long they want me to work there that's the thing no one told me anything no one told me no one sat me down to tell me um, we're gonna pay this much money so we can have you work here permanently okay um part-time like I, I didn't I know I don't want to work there part-time permanently that's for sure like I knew exactly like I knew I didn't want to work there permanently part-time because like the only reason why I tempt a lot was to get experience you know every single time I would go to an interview excuse me they will tell me I don't have the experience I don't um, I need to be working in the field more so I'm like okay cool tamping is the way but I did not know that um, tamping agencies charge a hefty fine okay had I known out of I would have been considered out of told her listen no I don't want to work there part-time because my long-term goal is to find a permanent um, position that has you know benefits and all that because that's my goal I don't want to 
you know, go from office to office all day long and not doing and not do um, not find like a home office that I can, you know, call a home office and have like the benefits that everybody else is getting. You're like, why? Like, I know my value. Like, I know I'm, I'm worth getting that at least. You know what I mean? Like, why not? So just learn from my mistake and don't make that same silly mistake because I didn't know. If anything, um, if there was like a fee involved, I thought it would be like, you know, $100 or two, $200. I would have been like, yep, there you go. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. That's why I felt I was so like shocked. It's just like, it's, it's just better. I'm not saying if I was sold for $200, like it's just, that's, that's how it feels to me, okay? Feels like I was so like because that's what she said to me. She's like, "We paid this much for you." Saying to someone you paid three thousand five hundred dollars for them is basically telling them that's how much you bought them for. Is and also the way she said it, the demeanor, you know, she presented in her the tone in her voice was it was just very degrading. It's like she felt like she could control my schedule just because she paid this much money as a finder's fee. You know what I mean? It's just. It was it really bothered me and then I thought okay she I know she knows she doesn't own me you know what I mean so it's a business deal that's how it went that's that's what it is I just feel like I was not presented with the opportunity with the respect to make an informed decision you know what I mean I was blinded into you know being there like I just felt like okay I'm just gonna be there for two to three months and just help them out since I since they're like me and I like them too and you know let's just work together for a few months I didn't like I did not plan on if that if they had sat me down and told me this is what's gonna happen you need to stay there for this and this is my I would be like nope this is not what I want if you guys are gonna pay that much money I'm sorry nope like you guys just nope don't do it because I can come for, I can come here and like cover for you guys once in a while but my long term goal is to find a full time position and you guys can't offer that to me. I would have been able to like if they communicated with, with me I would have been able to tell them like what's going on but they like cornered me and asked me like do you wanna work here? We really like you and I just didn't know what to say. So um yeah. In other words, well she didn't say she bought me, but she said we paid this much for you. It just and my like to me, it felt like she said, "We bought you for this much." That's how it felt because that's the tone that she had. Like it was just like she was. I don't. Know, it was just I'm done with it. Um, just learn from my mistake. I'm gonna make more of those videos because there are a few other things that um happened to me and I never really shared it. I didn't think it was relevant, but I'm pretty sure someone else here can learn from it and not make the same mistake. And if you have made a mistake, I hope to see more of those videos too, um, so I can learn from them. So yeah, this is what I wished I had learned in DH school, okay, dental hygiene school.